Jim, I would say this. Years ago, I read a book, maybe you read it, by Francis Schaeffer, a man of God that's in heaven. Yes. Whatever happened to the human race? Mm -hmm. And uh, he also, you know, Chuck Colson, they, they also had these books. And from Ezekiel, I think it says, How Then Shall We Live? And Schaeffer prophetically looked down the corridors of time, and he just said, if we drift from our Judeo-Christian foundations and move away from the way this country was established on virtue and morality as the underpinnings of this nation, then he said, we are going to see, and Schaefer said, abortion on demand, infanticide, euthanasia. And he, he, he died and passed it on. And he said, the whole idea of separation of church and state, he said, it's so twisted today. He said, the founding father, when we said that, what was it? It was that we, we would not allow there to be a state religion like in England and that there would be no interference, that we would have freedom of religion. But you have forces, George Soros and other individuals in this country, and there's powers and principalities that, we're, that are at work in the heavenly places, Ephesians 6 tells us, and they are endeavoring to dismantle the foundations of this country to replace this nation as it was established and make it like we've seen in many European countries today. Mm -hmm. No standards, whatever darkness is light, good is evil. Who are you to tell me that I can't do this? And this is political forces. We saw in a previous administration, think of this, the White House was lit up celebrating the establishment of gay marriage in America. And it was, a, it was a day of celebration. And the president, and then he's following it up, the president going to Planned Parenthood and saying, God bless you. It's like, how could this happen in America? This is insanity. I think in this last election, though, God moved on the hearts of his people. And I've been a 40-year member of Intercessors for America. Mm. And people prayed. Mm -hmm. And they cried out, God, whoever, whatever it's going to take, but please have mercy on America. And I believe we've had a pause. And it's God's attempt now to awaken us, yes. stir us out of apathy, convict pastors that are, are submitting to the fear of man and will not declare the truth and are believing this lie that this is political and this is not something to get into. And you know what? You look at the history of America. When elections came around, the pastors preached and prepared the people. I've yes. been in churches where they've said, we don't want voter guides. You can't put anything out. We don't want, and I think, what are we doing? People are being led to the slaughter. That's right. And you know what it says in Ezekiel, if you see danger coming and you don't warn, God says, I'm going to hold you accountable for this. Right. But the good news is there's a stirring. Yes. People yes. are awakening. They're saying, I do need to know the truth. And I believe with President Donald Trump, and I'm a close friend of Steve Strang. His book, God and Trump, is excellent. Yeah. Yes. You say, is he a Christian? Is he not? I do know this. Look at the fruit of this man in office. Not some of the stuff 15 years ago that lady said and all that stuff. I'm talking, look at the fruit. You say, but Larry, he's brash. Yeah, he is. He's a New York guy. Yeah, he's a businessman. But I look at the policies, the judges that are being put in. I look at Jerusalem being established there, Amen. finally. I look at a Supreme Court Justice Gorsuch put on the court. I see people like Ben Carson and Mike Pence and others that are there working in the Heritage Foundation. We're, we're given a reprieve. And it's our time. And I don't think we can sit back and say, let's just go on with business as usual. We've drifted from mm -hmm. our moorings. We've drifted, and the foundation of the house is collapsing, and it's our hour. And that's why this show, folks, I tell you, there's a prophetic edge on this program. And Jim Baker and Lloyd, they're not afraid. They're telling you the truth, and I want to challenge us. This is not a day to be asleep or think we can just go on with business as usual. We've got to awaken. Yeah. That's right. But the good news is God yeah. is ready. Yeah. The yeah. eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth in order yes. to show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are blameless towards yeah. him. Last days, perilous times, but yeah. also in the last days I'll pour out my spirit upon yeah. all flesh. When the enemy comes in, like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard. These are opportune days, days of harvest, yeah. and it's time for you and I, let's get engaged and let's get in place and believe God for change. Yeah. You, that's excellent. Come on. Yeah. Your answer is amazing. Oh.